Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Kathy Lee from Kathy's Creative Place and I have some DT projects to share with you from Country Craft Creations. These are uh, the cards that I've made from the November Craftology box and the uh, the collection that's in this um, uh, this month's uh, kit is Santa's Workshop from Cartabella and there are some really cute reds, greens, and of course my favorite some turquoise or aqua blues. They just say all kinds of things about winter and um, and Christmas. So I'm going to share uh, what I've made. I have several cards here and um, I'm gonna start out here with a couple of the real simple easy ones I uh, I made and um, I get a lot of my inspiration on Pinterest. Pinterest is one of my go-to places for card inspiration and I came across this cute little stacked um, present card with some ribbon and a little tag and just really simple easy to do. What I've done is I've created a um, uh, three like packages and then I put some different trim on each one of these and it's just I these I these I used from my uh, dies are um, from Lawn Fawn and uh, uh, they're called lacy dies or lace borders and then um, it, for the interior of the cards really kept it simple this one um, I kind of made kind of a watermark and all I did is I stamped with um, some water with uh, my Versa my Versamark ink and it's in a um, it's in a cute little Christmas tree uh, a, a shape it's one of my old hero arts stamps and I, I just I still use my my old stamps I love them and it says may your holidays be filled with laughter and merriment so I just um, stamped with my verse mark and then uh, rather than putting like um, white uh, embossing powder I actually heated it with clear so you can still read it, it ha and it has a nice raised embossed um, texture it's really really pretty and then for the next one I decided to use basically the same format um, different pattern papers from the collection and most of these that I used for these three cards are from the 6x6 six six, um, uh, pattern uh, uh, pad because they are so they're they're so small it makes sense to use the smaller patterns for for some of these smaller cards so what I did on this one I used one of my embossing folders and it just says Merry Christmas it has a nice raised background and then again I used uh, three stacked presents some uh, satin ribbon for a bow and then I made this cute little um, tag and this is again another one of my hero art stamps and I embossed it with um, red ink and then clear embossing powder and then on the inside I basically did ba the same thing although I went around with some of my um, I think it was peeled peeled paint distress ink and made um, the shape of the um, Christmas tree really cute and then for this one I used a lawn fawn die that it has kind of like stars and um, confetti and it, it, it looks like confetti but um, you can use it for uh, winter as well kind of like um, snow so I used this blue background and then I die cut that and then um, on this one I raised my um, presents or my gifts on um, some scrap chipboard and then put my little um, bow with my ribbon and then uh, stamped a holiday cheer on a cute little banner tag and then this is just 
um, another stamp that I used and uh, there's no embossing on this one so that was pretty simple so for these cards I'm actually creating a tutorial so you can make them and uh, just check my YouTube channel for the link and then I have a gatefold card that I made. This one is using the 12 by 12 pattern papers and one of the cutter parts. And then I also stamped this believe in magic of this believe in the magic of the season sentiment and then I um matted it on some of the um some of the pattern paper and it's just a gatefold so I adhered my sentiment on this side and then my cut apart on this side and then I also um, added some uh, I think these are Echo Park um, die cuts and I just uh, put some glue over top of them I actually uh, cut like three layers of them glued them together and then I put some uh, glamour glamour dust on to, to for a little bit of sparkle if you can see that and then for the inside I used a simple um, the the pattern paper from the front and then uh, this is a spellbinders die and then this is one of my old hero arts one of my favorite sentiments that I always use in my cards so that is this card and then for this one just a top folding six by six card I use this cute cut apart and it's the North Pole it has this cute little clock I, I just love the imagery and the cute um, uh, the the cute uh, artistry in this and then for this one I also took a, uh, my stardust stickles and I put stickles on all of the areas where it had the snow that way it would uh, give it a little bit of sparkle and then this piece this North Pole um, cute little candy cane with the signs is a um, um, a chipboard piece um, this piece the season's greetings uh, is from uh, one of the uh, frames and tags or the ephemera and I added a little dimension under there and then um, I created a double bow uh, for the bottom to give it a little bit more um, dimension and some texture and then for the inside I simply took another tag from one of the tags and frames and some baker's twine put a an enamel dot there and then I added a couple other pieces from the ephemera pack as well and popped it up on pop tots and that's the inside of the card okay and then I made this card I've I, I've made cards like this before this is actually an advent card so um, it's a um, side um, oh I forgot what they call it. it's a um, side oh gosh I now I can't remember <laughs> the name of it but um, what I did is I used my bind it all and I created numbers where you can use this as an advent so um, this has all the numbers and basically what I did is I just uh, used the use my computer and uh, printed out some numbers and then um, matted it on some cardstock and uh, punched it with my bind it all so that you can flip for each day of uh, 25 days of December and then this is a cut apart um, and then I also used a my sentiment is also from one of the um, uh, ephemera pieces and then I uh, popped it up on some chipboard and then I added some handmade uh, poinsettias from one of my punches and then uh, a couple other flowers from orchid crafts and some uh, cute little fern die cuts or I, and I think this is actually a punch as well um, the inside really doesn't have an, uh, anything in it but I 
covered it with some pattern paper so I can actually put a sentiment if I want to um, to send it off to a friend or give it to a friend. And that is that card. I am going to uh, published a tutorial for this one so that you can learn how to make this as well. Um, it's really, really simple. If you have a bind it all or, or a cinch, uh, it's really, really easy to put together. Okay. So some other things that I did make with this collection, I have some other pieces that I used um, the cut aparts because on this collection, this there's a cut apart page that has all kinds of different um, uh, sizes of cut aparts. So I used some of these as tags and I used my uh, tag topper punch um, from Stampin' Up to, to make a couple of these and I put some um, snow tags on some of these to give it a little bit more dimension, uh, some Wink of Stella and, then, uh, and um, stickles as well and then on the back I just stamped a two from and then I also added a couple other stamps, did a little bit of uh, coloring here with my Prisma pencils and then um, this one basically is the same thing did a lot of Wink of Stella added a couple of bells and a little poinsettia button and then on the back it just says two from ho 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 and I just put some um, dimensional um, uh, Viva Decor uh, pearls on there and then this one um, I created again uh, from my Stampin' Up uh, Tag Topper Punch and added some bells to my little Baker's Twine uh, bow here and a um, an enamel dot and then again on the back side to from and uh, some additional stamping and uh, coloring. Okay. Uh, I just went kind of wild with this collection, so there's just so many different things that I made with it. Um, and then um, I also made some of Tamara's cute little um, boxes that that hold the little Hershey's, um, uh, and I made this using um, a five, um, uh, yeah, a five for for five pieces or five. Um, five nuggets and then um, uh, so these are um, five and a quarter I actually measured uh, I think or excuse me um, five inches and then three quarters of an inch for for the the box width and um, uh, the the same as as she uses for her uh, I think hers were uh, seven I think it, she did uh, seven nuggets for her boxes. So I just shortened it to hold five nuggets for each one of these. And then I created cute little um, belly bands uh, with some of the <clears throat> pattern paper and then some of the ephemera and tags from the um, little um, ephemera and tag uh, uh, pieces that go with the collection and some baker's twine and I just popped them up and I also this one is actually one of the um, chipboard pieces so I just did a lot of different variations I'm going to send uh, I'm going to give these to my co-workers for um, for um, a gift for Christmas and um, I have probably about seven more to make so but they go really really fast so it was really really easy and then I didn't stop there so I kept going um, I also made some wine tags and these are um, uh, some various uh, sizes um, these are mostly two and three quarters or three inches in width and about eight inches in length and um, you score it two and a half and then you just punch out your middle to put on your your wine bottle or um, even a water bottle or a bottle of soda or um, seltzer or anything like that and um, I just used some different pattern papers made some different designs added some 
cute little bows and pearls and this one has some some of my uh, little swirly pearls and then chipboard pieces some lace and then a string of pearls oops I'm out of camera um, uh, across the bottom and then this one has uh, one of the holly berry um, die cuts from Cartabella or Echo Park, I can't remember which one. But, um, and then um, I just put some red stickles on the berries and make them a little bit more uh, sparkly and then added a tag of my own, a little button, some baker's twine and some, um, uh, some ribbon. And I had found these cute little sayings that just seem so cute for, <laughs> especially for wine bottles, so may increase your chances of ending up on the naughty list. I thought that was really cute. And then this one, um, this uh, this die cut is actually um, a, I think it's a, a Cartabella um, die cut. And I just added some little elements around his hat. And then um, I also used my Lawn Fawn dies um, for a little snow and I added some stickles to make it sparkly and then this says I'm dreaming of a white Christmas and if the white runs out I'll drink red so I thought that was really cute and then this one really simple um, the pretty patterned paper from the collection and I put a lot of Wink of Stella on the different ornaments that's on the um, pattern and then I added a um, uh, one of the poinsettias that I think this is actually from Wild Worker Crafts and then um, I made this cute little bow out of one of my um, uh, paper smooches um, die cuts and then uh, added some little fern die or fern punch, punch pieces and then added some little red uh, jingle bells I don't know if you can hear that or not, but, um, and then, uh, put a little bit of, a uh, little fern, uh, fern punch, uh, elements around there as well. And this one says, this wine pairs well with turkey and difficult relatives. And I just printed these off on my, uh, uh, from my PC and made them into different elements. And that is... Th those are all of my projects that I made with this collection from Santa's Workshop from Cartabella.